What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're gonna go over color grading within DaVinci Resolve. Before you start, you can download my color node preset link down in the description below and you can follow along during this process. I will help you bring your clip looking like this to this. But first, we're closing in on 5K subscribers and you can be a big part of that. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, now to the important stuff, the color tab. So the most important thing when it comes to color grading your clip and getting the most out of it is shooting in log. I shoot natively on the Sony FX3 and for me, I shoot everything in S-Log3. And that's really the first and almost the most important step. So the first step is taking the JL LUT tree, which I have linked in the description below, which is on my digital storefront. And the first thing we do is we drag that onto the still color area of the color tab in DaVinci Resolve. And then from there, we drag it on the first note being right here, number one. So we'll drag it on there. And from there, you can see the image already transformed. And what this is doing is it's creating a node tree of all of the different areas I'm gonna customize within my shot. And the first thing it does is you'll notice the change of color. It takes that S-Log3 and transforms it into Rec 709. And then from there is when I start my process. So the first thing we have is NR, which is noise reduction. And if the clip is very noisy and I just have to bring noise reduction down, I do that. I'm shooting in daylight, so I'm not gonna have to do that with this clip. And then I have the CST in and the CST out, and that's a color space transform node and preset. And what that does is moves the clip into 709. So the first thing I'm gonna work on is the exposure. And the first thing I'm gonna do is play with the gamma and the gain within this color wheel. So we'll go with the gamma and I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna move this clip out so when I have it in focus. And this is where I get to really customize what I want and make it really mine. So I'm gonna bring that up right there and that's kind of where I'm gonna like it. And then next I go to the white balance and the saturation. And then from there you really get to start playing around with colors. So you're automatically gonna move over to the curves, which is in the color tab, and I'm gonna move over to hue versus hue. I'm gonna hit every one of these colors, and what that's gonna do is give me a keyframe on each color so I can really customize and hone in on the colors I want to display. So for this, red's very apparent. I do really want to bring over the reds right here and really bring out the colors in those. Bring out the blue so you can kind of see the sky popping off of here. And then the greens up here, I kind of want those to pop a little bit more, so that's what I'm gonna do there. And then from there, I go to hue versus saturation. And then again, same step, hit these colors to create keyframes. And from there, I'm gonna play with the hue. And you're not gonna see much change in here. I'm gonna bring the reds up just so the reds are still uh, a little bit more exaggerated. Bring the greens up a tad. And then same thing with the blue, so it kind of plays off of here a little bit better and then the teal a little bit there. And that's really what I'm gonna do for white balance and saturation. And you'll see the next thing we'll jump into is the curves. And the curves is basically moving back here and it's controlling your curve. So I like to do like a slight, slight S curve on everything I do and kind of crush the blacks a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do right there. And then we come back to the hues and instead of clicking every color, we touch the colors we really wanna to touch on. I really wanna to touch on the reds in this and really have the reds play a important role in this and then also the blue because i really like the blue popping off of there so i'm going to kind of bring that up a t bring that down a tad bring this up a bit and then we're going to come over to hue for saturation again do the same colors bring the reds up blues up and really exaggerate the blues in this clip and play with the greens a little bit. And then from there, we come over to the wheels and the wheels are already here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit the wheel with log right here. And from here, we're gonna play with the shadows, the highlights and the gains. So first we're gonna do the shadows and you can see we're kind of killing the shadows in the corners and then the highlights over here, bring up those. We can kind of see the whites a little bit more. And then we pop over here and we have the gain when we pop back and that really just brings that up like that. And now we can customize kind of the film looks of it. So what I always do is I always put a little bit of glow on to have it kind of pop off the white. You can kind of see it if I kind of play with it right here, but I have it kind of pop off the whites like that. So really light. Halation is something you can do that really gives it that film kind of glow look along the corners. You can see how kind of intense it gets, but I like to do a little bit of that. And then the grain takes away some of the sharpness of the shot and of course makes it grainy. 
These Sony lenses do such a good job of shooting so sharp and make it a little bit less sharp and give it more of that soft film glow and look. So that's what I do there. So you can see, I was able to take this clip from starting at this and bringing it all the way to this. Now, it is a lot of steps, it is a lot of practice. This is how I do it and there might be different ways that you do it, but I have my color node tree linked in the description below and that should really help you do this. But if this is too intimidating and you just want something easy, you can kind of drag and drop onto the clip. I will have my s lock 3 to Rec 709 preset linked in the description below. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have so much fun coloring and learning kind of how colors play with each other. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.